thyroid peroxidase antibodies, also known as TPO antibodies, these are commonly elevated in both people with Hashimoto's thyroiditis and Graves' disease. I'm Dr. Eric Osansky, and in this video, I'm gonna discuss some basics about TPO antibodies, and I will go over some actual patient reports so you can better understand this marker. Before I begin, I just want to remind you that the main reason I put together these videos is to help people with different types of autoimmune conditions and other health issues better understand their test results so that they can find or remove their triggers, correct any underlying imbalances, and feel great again. So let's discuss a few basics about TPO antibodies. First of all, although TPO antibodies are more commonly associated with Hashimoto's thyroiditis, they are common in both Hashimoto's and Graves' disease. These antibodies develop when the immune system attacks thyroid peroxidase. Thyroid peroxidase is an enzyme that plays a major role in the synthesis of thyroid hormone. The thyroid peroxidase enzyme converts iodide to iodine, and the iodine combines with tyrosine on thyroglobulin, which forms T4 and T3. So when someone has elevated TPO antibodies, this indicates that the immune system is attacking the thyroid peroxidase enzyme, and this can inhibit the production of thyroid hormone, and over time this can lead to hypothyroidism. So let's take a look at the reference range for anti-TPO antibodies. So according to LabCorp, their reference range is 0 to 34 IUs per milliliter for anti-TPO antibodies. And then for Quest Diagnostics, their reference range is less than nine international units per milliliter. So the optimal reference range, we could see less than nine IUs per milliliter, but we need to keep in mind that different labs use different testing procedures. So it's very difficult to compare lab to lab. And I'll talk more about this when comparing antithyroglobulin antibodies. So for Quest Diagnostics, no question, we want the range to be less than nine. With LabCorp, as far as an optimal range, it's hard to say if someone has a value of 33, that's within the lab range, but we could say on the high side, if it's 20, that's well within the range. If we compare it with Quest, it would be greater than the Quest range, but as I mentioned, it's difficult to compare lab to lab, especially when it comes to antibodies. So let's take a look at some reports. So with this report, we could see that it has both thyroid peroxidase antibodies and thyroglobulin antibodies. And again, we'll cover thyroglobulin antibodies on a different video, but we can see thyroglobulin antibodies are within range, whereas thyroid peroxidase antibodies here, they use the range of less than nine international units per milliliter. And this person is clearly elevated at 162. And so in this case, we see thyroid peroxidase antibodies at 91, which also is elevated. They use a range of less than nine as well. And we also could see they tested TSH, which it looks like it's TSH, I think 34.20. Either way, clearly elevated and free T4 is depressed at 0.6. It would be great if they also looked at free T3, but they didn't. But here, this is a case of Hashimoto's, an overt case of hypothyroidism associated with Hashimoto's. And here we see all three antibodies. So again, the focus here is thyroid peroxidase antibodies, which are really, really high, greater than 13,000. We see thyroglobulin antibody also elevated at 21, and thyroid stimulating immunoglobulins greater than 500. And we see the free T3 and free T4 both elevated, TSH depressed. So this is a case of Graves' disease, a patient with Graves' disease who also has positive thyroid peroxidase and thyroglobulin antibodies. And again, there'll be separate videos on thyroglobulin antibody and thyroid stimulating immunoglobulins. A lot of people have questions about whether gluten can trigger an autoimmune response and perhaps lead to elevated TPO antibodies. If you'd like to learn more about the relationship between gluten and autoimmunity, please check out the video that just appeared on your screen.